in here got the uh, mobile fidelity sound lab uh, issue of Graham Parsons GP time can pass and time can heal but it don't ever pass the way I feel you went away great classic record and uh, well you know if mobile fidelity touches it it's gonna sound amazing and then um, the reissue of the uh, Buffalo Springfield box set there you stood on To fly. Sure, everybody knows Neil Young's first band, but uh, well, it's got Expecting to Fly, which is probably one of my top five Neil Young songs, and um, it's got a bunch of stuff I've, I've never heard, but um, new reissue of the first Lords of the New Church. Steve Bader's from the Dead Boys and Brian James from uh, uh, the Damned, and um, this is a great album that I haven't heard in uh, probably about 15 years. Uh, George Jones' Cup of Loneliness. It's an old uh, compilation of uh, stuff from when he was on Mercury Records. I see Christian Pilgrim, soul redeemed from sin. Called out of darkness, a new life to begin. I had this years ago and, and uh, loaned it to a friend and never got it back and I've been looking for it for a long time and i um, very excited to, to have found it. Another Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab of uh, Linda Ronstadt, Don't Cry Now. She's um, one of my favorite singers ever. <laughs> I know, audiophile Linda Ronstadt sounds kind of silly, but I'm actually really, really excited about this one. And Do you then, have a favorite track off that record? Off of this record, I think probably uh, Love Has No Pride might be my favorite off of this one. There's, uh, and then this one's got her, her version of Desperado, which is, I think, uh, vastly superior to the Eagles. Desperado, you know you. Getting younger, your pain and then another record that I loaned out and have been looking for for years, Anti Scene Eat More Possum, one of my favorite records of all time. I think I'm kind of ripping you guys off by only paying five bucks for it, but <clears throat> they were part of this, uh, this group of bands that um, was going for a while called the Confederacy of Scum. And I was in a band called Cockneys, which we were one of those bands. So these guys were kind of kind of brothers of, of mine for a while. And I'm still, you know, I'm still good friends with all of them, but, but uh, you know, it's been, been about 20 years. And so we've, you know. Your band was called Cockneys? We were called Cockneys, yeah. <laughs> Like N-O-O-S-E? Mm-hmm. How did you come up with that name? Uh, actually, our, uh, our singer, Devin, came up with it. I guess like you hear a lot of bands, like this is the band we wanted to see. There was no band like this, so they, they started it. And I mean, basically their whole their career goal was to open for Gigi Allen, should he ever play Lawrence, Kansas. And they just happened to accidentally write a bunch of really good songs and 
put out several records and toured Europe and you know I was I was in the band for for several years and um, had just some amazing adventures and um, and so we, we toured a lot with with these guys and I got a book too it's Hunter Hunter Thompson uh, some some writings from the 80s which I've never never read any of his, his 80s stuff before so I'm, I'm pretty excited Ben Franklin was never able to lock a door again after the day lightning came down his right string and fused that key to his thumb. They called it a great discovery, and they called him a great scientist. But in fact, he bawled like a baby for the rest of his life every time he smelled rain in the air. Do you have a story about playing, or being with the Flaming Lips 12 years ago or so here at Amoeba? I do, yeah. The, um, it was actually the first time that I set foot in, in this, this store. We were staying right down the street and we're coming in here and I wanted to come in early so I could do some record shopping and I walked in and immediately had a panic attack <laughs> at how many just like oh my god and um, I think I got here around 1.30 or 2 in the afternoon and then uh, everybody else got here at 3 and by 7 or 8 the end store was over and I was here until you guys were actually like kicking me out to like close the doors because it was just oh my god every record that's ever existed is here oh my god and uh anytime we're in town now this is just i i have to come here and um i've yeah brought friends here a couple of times and they'll walk in and i can just see them <laughs> kind of deer in headlights for a second like yep i felt the same way cool well thank you so much okay cool Be bah!